Yes, students, as you know, water is uh, in our earth crust. We, we have a sources. Uh, out of 100% of the source, we have 97%, 0.25% uh, from the ocean, which is uh, saline, not for use, you know, not even in the agriculture, not in for the drinking purpose. And 2.75% is the fresh water, which is useful for our uh, usual, uh, you know, our purposes. This is the fresh water, it's 2.75% in our earth crust. And out of again 2.75% earth crust, 68% are uh, in the form of ice, glaciers, where you will find in Antarctica, where there is no life because of the climatic regions. And we have 29.9% is the groundwater so we have groundwater which is uh, you know drinking uh, fresh water but this source is very expensive for us to you now take out the water from the ground and only 0.26 percent it is available easily accessible for us in the form of rivers reservoirs lakes so so you can imagine the the sources which we have for our drinking purposes very you know little very 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 minute 0.26 percent yeah, friends today we'll uh, discuss about the oceans uh, so uh, under these oceans we have total five uh, major oceans we have so the one which is the specific the number one ocean having the, the huge space in the in the earth's crust which separates Americas like North America, South America and the Asia and Oceania is a huge ocean. So where you have the Pacific uh, ring of fire is the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean which separates Americas and Europe and Asia, Africa. So uh, this Atlantic Ocean stands in second place in the form of the, you know, uh, the ocean. Uh, and the third is the Indian Ocean which separates Southern Asia Africa and, and Australia so it separates the three continents so this uh, Indian Ocean places in the third form and the Antarctic Ocean also called as Southern Ocean as encircles Australia and Arctic Ocean which is separated uh, by North Americas and Eurasia and uh, Sea of Atlantic so these are the five major oceans available in our Earth's crust. Hi students today we will understand about the relief of the ocean as you know, ocean uh, basin is almost uh, similar to the, the continental basin, like uh, how we have uh, ridges, plateaus, plains, valleys, and uh, so similarly, we have the ocean also have the same uh, setup, like you know, uh, like you know, land surface, like uh, you have uh, submarine ridges, plains, and also you have uh, some features. Uh, so today we'll uh, see the different parts of the ocean basin. So usually it is divided into four parts called the continental shelf. So which is uh, forming 7.6% 7, 7 of ocean basin. So this 7.6% of the ocean basin usually you see in under the 200 uh, meter depth. So it is the major source for our human beings to get the fishes and uh, you know we have the transportation uh, like uh, seaports are built on this continental shelves and also petrol and other uh, substances we, which we uh, depend on the continental shelf. So covering uh, the next part is the continental slope. This uh, forming like you know from the 200 meter depth uh, to uh, 3000 meter deep that means up to 3 kilometers deep you will find the continental slope which is forming 15% of the ocean basin. So usually we, uh, uh, this indicates, this slope indicates the continental uh, margins like as we say this is Africa. So how you will calculate the Africa? Only through continental slopes. You will find the, uh, the slopes from the uh, continental slopes. Based on this we calculate our continents. So and we have the third deep sea plains or also you can call as abyssal plain which forming 76.2 percent which is a very smooth the world's flattest and smoothest particles you will find in the deep sea plain so which is uh, in the depth from 3000 meters to 6000 uh, meters and we have the fourth uh, oceanic deeps such trenches 
So these trenches are so uh, deep, like uh, they are 6,000 meter and uh, more. So usually what we think that uh, as we uh, see in the rivers, you will find the deepest part is the center in the riverside. Like means if you want to uh, jump, so this part is you know relatively very deep in the center part. But whereas uh, for the ri rivers, this is yes, for the oceans, no. Because oceans, they won't, uh, like you won't find in the midst of the ocean, the deep. That is uh, the very interesting. Uh, you will get the very deep trenches near the continents. So in the midst, you will find uh, the, you know, a deep sea plain, but not the trenches. So whereas in the oceans, it's nearer to the continent, you will find the trenches. That means nearer to the continental shelf you will find the trenches which are very deeper. So uh, example in Pacific Ocean, we have Challenger or Mariana deep, which is around 11,000 and more meters deep. And at the same time in Indian Ocean, we have Java, which is around 7,500 meter deep. And Atlantic Ocean has also got the deepest uh, 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 trenches. So far we found around 57 trenches in the world.